I'd like to uh, ask a few questions um, regarding SADC. And we know that um, SADC is currently being hosted uh, by Botswana, uh -huh. or it's, it's headquarters in Botswana. I just want to know, what does it take, you know, for a country to host um, such a big, you know, organization as SADC, and in this case, Botswana? And at the same time, I would also want to know what opportunities um, um, for, for SADC, you know, exist okay. in this kind of uh, case. Let me handle the first part of the question. I think it's such a huge privilege for a country to hold such a, an amazing institution like SADAC. The benefits are just tremendous. Uh, one of the benefits that I would like to uh, point out to first and foremost is the fact that, you know, perhaps maybe there are certain individuals who are not very much aware of Botswana, and now since they know of an institution which is a regional uh, institution of that nature, um, they are now much aware that it's been in Botswana and so they get to know about the country and they are not just interested in terms of Botswana, it's just a, a country that hosts SADC. They want to, to know more about the people, about the economy, about the culture of the people in that particular kind of country. So that's the first benefit. But the second benefit again in terms of uh, international politics uh, SADC is a highly recognized uh, institution within the United Nations as well. So Botswana, as well as a host, is uh, very much uh, known within the UN as well. So I think I'd want to just mention those uh, two benefits. Yeah, similarly, SADC as well benefits from being hosted by the country because Botswana is committed itself to the infrastructural development of, uh, of SADC. Uh, but again, as well, uh, of organizing any and everything that uh, has to do with uh, SADC business. So um, it is it is such an such a what can I say? Uh, perhaps maybe say it's a, it's a daunting task for a country to actually host it because the resources, manpower, and financial are involved. So it's not a small thing. I see something very unique about Botswana when it comes to regional politics. Mm -hmm. um, Botswana seems to hold a very uh, unique stance when it comes to crucial issues in, in terms of democracy and um, probably human rights. Mm -hmm. I would like to know, by doing that, how much is Botswana um, sticking together with the rest? Well, I mean, it might not be seen to be sticking with the rest of Africa by some, but I think in the long term, other African countries will realize that it was for the better for Botswana to take perhaps maybe a lonesome kind of approach to dealing with the issues within the region. And this is a reminiscent of what has been going on in the, in the crisis in Zimbabwe as well, to say that they are denouncing uh, perhaps maybe the illegitimate uh, uh, governance of, of Mugabe. Like I say, it's a, it's a, either, you can look at it either way, that uh, maybe it was naive for Botswana to try to take perhaps a unilateral position within the region, but um, certain individuals as well are of the view that it was perhaps about time that uh, Southern African countries do not hide and, sh you know, and, and uh, shy away from publicly um, um, criticizing each other. So, and Botswana did that which was inconceivable within the region, and, uh, and I think it's, it's not a bad thing. Gladys Mokawa, mm. thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>